there is an amazing activity to engage students the activity name is concentric circle activity it is to be used in the classroom where multiple students or multiple participants are there with the help of this activity students can be easily engaged now let's talk about what are concentric circles concentric circles are the circles with the same or common center in other words if two or more circles have the same center point they are termed as concentric circles now we will talk about objectives of this activity all participants can be engaged at same time participants can share their ideas and responses to multiple people in sequence using this activity class engagement can be better and newness in participation is introduced participants will become more confident in sharing their thoughts with others there are few more objectives of this activity participants can understand the response and collect data learning reflection with multiple participants can be shared in 2 to 3 minutes individual feedback with multiple participants can be shared in sequence so there are multiple benefits we will talk about now how to execute this activity we need equal number of participants for two circles example total participants 10 participants for each circle now number of participants can be lesser than 20 or more than 20 participants of both circles need to face one another on go inner circle participants need to move anti clockwise and outer circle participants need to move clockwise now where can cir- concentric circles activity be used in classroom during training small gatherings and community conversations what to do in concentric circle activity questions to get more information about content or a person can be asked different people can be interviewed at same time knowledge share can happen feedback sharing can be done and data collection activity can be done let's see how does this activity look in the real classroom so this classroom is filled with some of the professionals and here they are standing in circles so one is inner circle another one is outer circle now as you are able to see that in front of one participant another participant is also there so when we have equal number of participants for this activity then this activity becomes easier always make sure that whatever number of students we have or participants we have should easily divide by 2 so that there is no confusion and in front of each and every participant another participant is there on go when first round is done then on go outer circle participants will move one step anti clockwise and inner circle participants will move one step clockwise like this now in second round they will be able to get new participant in front of one another now as you are able to see that here each and every participant is engaged and they are sharing their thoughts or their question in sequence in this type of activity there are more chances that each and every participant is able to get equal amount of attention as well as they are able to share their learning similarly peer learning is also happening at same time and as you can see that with the help of this activity students can be engaged easily and they can be made excited to share their learnings now this activity is an essential part if you have group of students and you are engaged in the facilitation now you can see that each and every participant of this group activity is extremely interested in sharing their ideas and their thoughts with it they are looking happy and they are able to share 
their thoughts without any hesitation. With the help of this activity, each and every participant can get comfortable with one another. Also, when they are talking, they are able to build better connection with one another and they are also able to share feedback. Now, for the instructor, also it becomes easier that which participant is participating or which participant is not engaged. Now, if you see here that each and every participant is participating with a smile, with energy, they are using gestures, they are sharing the given, they are sharing the task which is given to them. Now, I hope all of you will also try to apply this concentric circle activity in any of your sessions, training rooms, classrooms or the group gatherings. And then you will be able to see that how you can get easily engaged and mingle with the participants as well as you will be able to get the trust of all the participants. I, I am sure you like this activity and you will try to apply in your classroom. All the best.